Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody out there watching. Welcome to another Shock and Not Toy Reviews to any mile of three idiots, whatever. Uh, I'm Wilson, joined by Toast. And in this episode, we are reviewing a third party Transformer yet again. And who is this? This is Fans Hobby Night Walker NB12A. Yep. Another repaint of their, I don't know, whatever this mold is. It was Minerva. Origi Minerva was originally yeah. Minerva. Okay. Let's take a look at the car mode, well, shall we? So he comes in car mode. I transformed him. Transformed him back. Yeah. There was some frustration. We'll, we'll get to that. Okay. Um, I don't think I will ever see it again. <laughs> After this? As tabbed together well wow. as, as when it was for first out of the package. Yeah. Like this took work. And it's still gappy. Wow. Um, otherwise, it looks good and rolls. Yeah. Rubber tires, right? Yes. Yeah. That's one thing I like about them is that, that they do the rubber tires rather than the plastic. It has a nicer feel to it. Oh, no. You can see a chest. Oh, Jesus. It's what not, are we going to do? It's not in disguise enough for oh, me. Oh, no. Can you see his head? <laughs> no, because his head's off driving the car. That's right. That's true. Yeah. I like the headlights he's got on, those clear, translucent little pieces. Makes it look kind of like re real headlights yeah. that aren't lit up. Mm -hmm. It's got some cool flame decals on the side there. Very cool. Much what you expect to see from uh, Nightbeat. Nice on the back. Got. I think they, yeah, they got there. some of that. I think the blue plastic matches pretty well of what I would expect from the character. Agreed. Yeah, I think yeah. they did a good job. And then what's all that yellow on the front bumper there? Is that paint? Yes. Does that look like it could use another pass, or am I wrong? It does. Okay. Yellow's always hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I do wish this hinge were on the inside. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird kind of bump at the top, isn't it? I think it? the other two molds, there's a reason this is here, and it's mm -hmm. kind of hidden behind lights. So I get it, but I, I wish it weren't the case. Okay. Pretty standard. Yeah. Right? It's a It's a good-looking car. Does the top open up easily or the sides in for to get the little headmaster in? No? <laughs> for size comparison in the vehicle mode, we have him next to the old generation's n deluxe night beat. So you can see he's bigger. This is masterpiece scale. So yeah, I believe he's on that. He's in that range for the masterpiece. And you can see the differences in the style of car. I, you know, This I, doesn't quite tab together either. Uh, not when you're hurrying to do it. <laughs> You know, I didn't do it the best way. Yours looks better. I like the style car and the Generations one better. I like them both yeah. as far as cars go. Yeah. I can't remember what the original might be looked like. Blue car. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Then we're on. Then we're on. Yeah. Good. Let's All over it. You want to transform them? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't sound like a yeah to me. Mm. So about midway through transformation, you're going to wind up with these legs that just explode. I found it easier to just... I found it easier to just pop the whole leg off the hip, transform it, put it back on. Dude, that's such... Uh, that's how my kids transform toys. Cause it, and how of, I've thought about doing it when you can't do it. All of this it gets in the way. Like, both legs. Yeah. It You're trying to move it all around, and it, okay. it's better to just pop it off. Pop them off. Yep. All right, we got them transformed. It didn't take you long. No. Yeah. After I, you took pop those legs off, it went pretty I quick. Got, I got faster at it. There yeah. you go. All right, so he is a headmaster for people who don't know. So yes. his head comes off and also transforms into a little robot. When we take a look at the head close up, that's the head. Uh, he's got is that plastic for the eyes? It's not light piping, is it? No. That's, okay. That's painted. Oh, it's painted. Okay. It's Although, like metallic. Yeah, but there is a sticker sheet. Okay. So I think you could sticker the paint. No, oh, sure. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> okay. And he's got the yellows and everything. Transform him real quick. I think you're going to pop the forehead off. Oh, really? To get the legs out. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. So there he is. He's just got some detail on there for him. Eh, it's just plastic. There's it's fine. Tiny painted visor. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's otherwise just plastic. Still movable. He moves. He's got pretty decent articulation, right? Yeah, he's got ball joints and, you know. Folded on knees, yeah. Pretty standard headmaster transformation. Cool. Elbows. Holy cow. Woo! Proof that they move. <laughs> with some effort. Hit on! 
remember that from the cartoon? I don't. I don't. Okay, of course not. Does he have the chest thing? Hold on. Can you open his chest and the little bars come up? Because I think they do have that. Um, as soon as you open the chest, the bars come down. It's not head activated. Gotcha. We'll save it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so paint and sculpt. Why don't you just leave that off for the time being? Paint and sculpt. It, it, he looks pretty basic this way. All of the, the blue is um, same as in car mode, except right. now you don't get the flames. Flames are on the back. So most of the accents are now hidden. Yeah. And he's got yellow legs, which I, I don't like. Really? Don't like the yellow legs. Would go with black or something. Hmm. But, like, I, this looks better to me. All right. I would like black an antenna. Mm -hmm. Different colored visor. Mm -hmm. um, just to break up the, the head a little bit. Uh, so yeah, moving down. Some there's some a little, few problems with this sculpt. Uh, if we move down to like the hands, the hands are very very flat. The hands are fiddly. They're very thin. They are not great in general. They fold. They fold and move, and the thumb actually only moves uh, up and down, I believe. Yeah, the thumb in and out. In and out. That's it. Only one way. In and out. Yeah. Not great hands. Not great hands. Very funky. Very funky. So you have the, the previous mold. Yes. I did not. Yes. This is all new to me. A little disappointing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would be too. <laughs> <laughs> the the torso is well sculpted. Yeah. I just, they could have done. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's critical for Nightbeat. It is. To get that asymmetrical. Very so. And... I feel like they took the original mold and figured we can kind of do Nightbeat with it. We'll get into that. But yeah, we, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, we're on paint and sculpt. Uh, and, and there's nothing really new here that we haven't seen in, in car mode. It's just the I think same Possibly colors. this silver that was underneath yeah. the car before. And the silver on his chest. Yeah. It actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. There is, I should mention, I don't know if this counts as an accessory, but there is a sticker sheet included, so you could break up some of this sculpt with some stickers. Stickers are fun. Let's move them around some. Or at least let's talk about his posability. Skinny arms. Skinny arms, full elbow range, which is nice. Um, shoulders go up. They rotate around. Um, like I said, there's no ratchets. Yeah. Knee goes about 90 degrees. Um, you get toe, not ankle. So... Right. Um, you get like it kind of doesn't have a foot. It's like well, it they does it does, but the there's front a, is the only part that swivels. There's a bit of ankle. Yeah, it goes that much. Yeah, but it is if you look on the inside, got the hollow in there. Right. That has some nice detail. <laughs> sure. Sculpted the inner calf. Yep. Um, ball jointed hips. Front and back. I haven't had any problems posing him but I'm not the most dynamic poser. Um, he does get flat feet, stands well, holds any pose that I've put him into. I've had no problems. So we got on next to uh, the mold mate, Athena, from the same company. Uh, Minerva is the real name. And then the Generations Nightbeat again. So these two are the exact same toy pretty much. Yeah, you can see a lot of the reuse yeah. um, and slight resculpting. I just want to bring in this guy. Um, at one point in IDW, Nightbeat looked a lot like Jazz. And there was even, there's a cover that looks exactly like this, only Nightbeat. So I wrote right. to Generation Toy, yeah. and I'm like, hey, can you, <laughs> can you redo Jazz as Nightbeat? <laughs> no response. Of course not. But man. All right, accessories toast. Tell us what we got. So there's a card that we almost never talk about. <laughs> um, there is an alternate faceplate, so orange, hmm. which, I don't know, I haven't put this on, but I like the visor look. This has the separated eyes. Yeah, that's the way he looked in the Japanese version, the cartoon, I believe. He didn't have a visor. So I like, I like the visor look. I do, too. This thing, as we've seen, already comes off. This is the, the roof, the windshield, 
and the back of the car. Um, it folds up, it does attach to the back. It's not really required. And for some reason I'm having trouble keeping it on there. Yeah. So it's like that. Uh, we then also get two guns that fold up. So compacted, um, it's like this, and it fits in inside the car in alt mode and they attach to hips here just on a simple tab yeah and if you unfold it it's a weird looking gun yeah it's, there's some of the puniest guns I've ever seen and then putting it in the hand I haven't tried this uh, I'm not looking forward to it so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he holds it yep looks a little funky it it's the gun, I think. The gun yeah. mi mixed with the hands just looks funky together. It's not a good combination. Well, they so they they put up pre-orders for Nightbeat, and then they release pictures for Ace Hitter. Ah. And they did additional remolding that make him look more masculine. Really? Yes. On that guy? Yes. Not this one. Right. Ah. Which... Is weird. Down to final thoughts. I'll tell you how much I hate this toy. I don't hate it. It's all right. It's two and a half out of five. There's nothing egregiously wrong with it. Uh, your copy clearly has a few problems of like the backpack staying on, but any other issues are come down to just the mold itself. And I, I knew what it was going to be because I own the Minerva one. The Headmaster gimmick works pretty well. Uh, well I mean, it works. The head stays in nice and moves left and right and everything. I don't like the hands on this one. I don't like the guns on these ones. Even the thighs on this still seem a little more feminine. Um, or maybe it's the arms that give it more of a feminine look. I'm not quite sure. But there's just something that's a little off aesthetically about them that I don't like. And I'm not even sure the shoulders work for this character that well. I, I would want his shoulders to be forward more again maybe i'm just used to this generations one and that's why i'm like that's what i want it to look like but yeah i mean they this is clearly a remold there's so many hinges in the shoulder you might be able to pull it off but there's a lot of fiddliness luckily it stands you can get in a good pose transformation is a bit of a pain um, unless you want to you know break the toy apart and transform it that way it's always a good idea. I mean, literally, if you have problems, it's good to just pop the legs on. I'm so off. thankful that was an option. Otherwise, yeah. he might not even have made it here tonight. Really? Uh, I wouldn't recommend this night beat. I would, I would wait. Maybe somebody. Uh, I would wait, probably, hopefully, Make Toys. Well, I think Make Toys is in the shitter, quite honestly. It seems that way. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, somebody will do a, a night beat at some point, even Hasbro. Uh, I would just wait. I, I think this. I think this mold works better for the Japanese characters that they were clearly setting out to do. Although Nightbeat is sort of one of the headmasters, I would. I would keep it with the obscure ones. Toast. Let us know what you think. I agree with everything you just said, except I'm going to give it a two out of five. Woo! For the extra disappointment I feel <laughs> after seeing Ace Hitter, I'm like, come on, why couldn't you do that for this? Yeah, I agree. And I, I don't think anyone else is going to do a night beat. Uh, you know, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I think the time for IDW might be passing. You think? It's just MMC at this point. Yeah. Maybe MMC will. I'd buy it if they did, but <laughs> I don't think so. So uh, may I ask buyer's remorse? I'm ultimately happy because okay. I wanted a night beat. Uh -huh. He'll go on the shelf and, and look okay. Sure. But I think in my heart, yeah. Every time I do look at him, yeah. there's going to be a twinge of disappointment. It's, it's like, uh, yeah, you get that little tickle in your ass. That's not the good tickle. So if, if, you, could, if you could find him, if he lasts like till Black Friday or something, if, yeah. you, if you could find him on sale, I'd recommend yeah. doing that. Oh, for sure. Because instead he's, of paying full price. Yeah, he's around 70 to $80. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put shell out that money for him. I wouldn't have shelled out. I shouldn't have shelled out the money for uh, Minerva, so quite honestly but yeah if you can find them and it's a shame because i think fans hobby does some great stuff their monster oh, yeah. bot the monster oh. bots awesome yes their overlord fantastic tremendous i think they might just do better with the big hulking characters yeah, i think so because those things have all kinds of ratchets yeah in them yeah so. all right anything else you want to say on this that's been it for this episode all right that has been it for this episode thank you for watching like and subscribe 
leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell because hopefully that will let you know when new content goes up. And as always, thank you for watching. Toast, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Goodbye.